Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, wherever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Deuteronomy 31.8 The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Psalms 34.17 The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He will deliver them from all their troubles. Psalms 40, 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Psalms 3, 3. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. Psalms 32, 10. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Psalms 42.11 Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. 1 Peter 5 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 and 4 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. 1 Peter 4, 12-13 Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Psalms 37, 23 through 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the ones who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Isaiah 41:10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. 
I will hold you with my righteous right hand. scriptures for physical healing. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. James 15, 14 through 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Exodus 15.26 He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all His decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I have brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 23-25 Worship the Lord your God and his blessings will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Isaiah 41-10 So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5 Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. And he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Jeremiah 30, 17 But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 and 15. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayers offered in this place. Isaiah 38, 16 through 17. You restored me to health and let me live. Surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish. In your love you kept me from the pit of destruction. You have put all my sins behind your back. Isaiah 57, 18 and 19. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Jeremiah 33, 6 Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people, will let them enjoy abundant peace, and security. Mm -hmm.